Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll check out all the awesome events lined up for the month of September. Participating in these events will grant tons of rewards such as a limited edition card, new headgears, a pet monster egg, and an exclusive rare mount. So you better not miss this out! Alright, without further ado, let's begin! First up for the whole month of September, we have the Freshman Celebration Event Puzzle. As usual, there will be an event puzzle that you need to complete until the end of the month. It consists of 9 puzzle pieces and collecting each piece will give you one mysterious box 7. Once you've collected 3 puzzle pieces, you'll obtain 2 gold medals and 2 smooth rune stones. Then after collecting 6 puzzle pieces, you'll obtain 4 praying card packs and 4 Valkyries gifts. And lastly, collecting all 9 puzzle pieces will grant you the limited edition card Freshman Celebration, which is an offhand card that grants the following attributes. Take note that all characters in the account will share progress for this event. Up next, we have the Freshman Celebration Pet Adventure. For 16 days, each character in your account can embark on a time-limited Pronterra Pet Adventure map 3 times daily, where you can get the following rewards. A random pet taming item gift box, random boss material gift box, and freshman celebration coins which is the currency used to buy event rewards. The amount of materials you'll get will be affected by dispatch efficiency, so the higher the percentage, the more materials you'll obtain. In addition, you'll be able to obtain the additional reward Youth Vitality Gift Box for sending the following pets in Pet Adventure, Fairy, Succubus, and the new pet Raccoon Apprentice which we'll discuss later. Thus, it is recommended to send these three specific pets if you want to gain free Youth Vitality Gift Box per pet adventure. Opening the Youth Vitality Gift Box will grant one of the following rewards randomly. Take note that the chance of getting Youth Vitality Gift Box is not affected by pet passive skills. Since this event is like a regular pet adventure wherein you need to consume combat time and adventure meatballs per run, I suggest that you only do this event if you don't have time to grind all your free characters daily. Personally, I think combat time is better spent in farming for more consistent gains unlike in Pet Adventure, which heavily relies on luck. There are still other events where you can gain Freshman Celebration coins. Up next from September 1 to 17, you'll be able to purchase the Raccoon Pet Gift Pack from the BitCat Coin Mall for 15 BCC. This pack contains 20 Freshman Celebration coins, 300 colorful shells, and a 10% chance to get your Raccoon Apprentice Monster Egg which has the following skills. In addition, Raccoon Apprentice Pet can be fused with Fairy to obtain your Raccoon High Wizard Pet which has the following skills. Up next, we have Nerdy Teen's Trouble 5-Day Quest starting from September 3 until September 24. Only one character in your account can accept this series of 5 missions in Pantera Square. Every time you complete one mission, you will get one Yannick's Thank You gift. Opening Yannick's Thank You gift will grant one of the following rewards randomly. Completing all 5 missions will give the event exclusive headwear blueprint All Pass, which has the following stats. Up next from September 3 to 10, you'll be able to purchase the White Love Soaring Gift Box 1 and 2 from the Big Cat Coin Mall for 15 BCC and 30 BCC respectively. You can only purchase a maximum of 100 for each box. Opening the White Love Soaring Gift Box 1 gives you 10 Mora Coins, 10 Gram Dust, 50,000 Zenny, and a small chance to get the White Love Soaring Mount. Meanwhile, opening the White Love Soaring Gift Box 2 gives you 25 Nolan cards, 15 Gram Dust, 200,000 Zenny, and a higher chance to get the White Love Soaring Mount. Take note that it is possible to receive more than the stated minimum quantity. Up next, from September 3 to 10, you'll be able to purchase a Daily Vitality Gift Box at the Big Cat Coin Mall for just one Zenny. So watch out for the red dot that will be displayed on the recharge interface. Opening this box gives you 100 Eden coin, 10 large drop potion, and one more coin. Up next, we have another gem tribute event from September 10 to 17. You can donate gems to the Celebration Gem Exchange NPC in Pantera Square to receive the following rewards. Donating 20 Aquamarine grants 5 BitCat Voucher Feast, 2 gold medals, and 2 dusty rune bag tomb. 
donating 25 Topaz grants 4 Big Cat Voucher 1, 2 Meteoric Chain, and 4 Oracle Crystal. And donating 15 Amethyst grants 4 Big Cat Voucher 2, 1 Glittering Runestone, and 3 Mysterious Box 7. The gems requested by Celebration Gem Exchange NPC will be different every day and you can only donate one type of gem per day, so choose wisely which rewards you want to get. Up next, there will be a quiz in Pantera Square for two weeks starting from September 17. You need to answer the questions correctly to get two U Fatality gift boxes and 40 Freshman Celebration coins. If you answer wrong, you'll only get one gift box and 20 event coins. You will be able to unlock the achievement and title Youth Vitality once you've obtained 20 Youth Vitality gift boxes. Up next, we have the Mysterious Merchant event from September 17 to 24. You can join in the event by clicking the giveaway in the new events interface. After fulfilling the event conditions, you'll be able to purchase items at super value. For the first three days of the event, you'll be able to purchase the following items. For the first year, we have the Mora Lucky Bag which costs 400,000 zenny. Opening it will grant 20 Mora Coins. After purchasing the maximum limit of 5 Mora Lucky Bags, it will unlock the next year. As for the second year, we have the Bear Mora Goodie Bag which costs 30 BCC. Opening it will grant 100 Mora Coins and a 0.1% chance to obtain a cute bear headgear. After purchasing the maximum limit of 30 Bear Mora goodie bags, you will unlock the next tier. As for the third and final tier, we have the Ready to Burst Mora goodie bag, which costs 2 million zenny. Purchase is limited to one bag only and opening it will grant 200 Mora coins. And then for the last 4 days of the event, you'll be able to purchase the following items. For the first tier, we have the Oracle gift box which costs 400,000 zenny. Opening it will grant 5 Oracle Dust and 5 Oracle Crystal. After purchasing the maximum limit of 5 boxes, you will unlock the next tier. As for the second tier, we have the Big Kitty Oracle Gift Box which costs 30 BCC. Opening it will grant 25 Oracle Dust, 25 Oracle Crystal, and a 0.1% chance to obtain the Duke Gem Mount. After purchasing the maximum limit of 30 boxes, you will unlock the next tier. As for the third and final tier, we have the Oracle Gift Box Unable to Shut, which costs 2 million zenny. Purchase is limited to one bag only and opening it will grant 50 Oracle Dust and 50 Oracle Crystal. Take note that all items purchased from Mysterious Merchant are account limited. Up next from September 24 until the end of the month, we have the Freshman Orientation Treasure Hunt event. Just talk to the Celebration Treasure Ambassador NPC in Pantera Square to accept the quest. You will then receive a treasure map which will point to the location of hidden treasure. Just go to the indicated location to get the rewards which are 1 Youth Vitality gift box and 20 Freshman Celebration coins. And lastly from September 24 until the end of the month, you will be able to purchase Freshman gift from the Big Cat Coin Mall for 15 BCC. This pack contains 6 Oracle Crystal, 4 Oracle Dust and 25% chance to get a commemorative medal which is used to exchange the following headwares. So to summarize all the events where you can get Freshman Celebration coins, we have the following. First is a pet adventure event wherein you can get a maximum of 3 coins per run. So in a span of 16 days, your character doing 3 pet adventures daily can get as much as 432 coins. However, as I've mentioned previously, only do this event if you think it's better to spend combat time and pet adventure than farming. Next is the Raccoon Pet Gift Pack wherein each pack contains 20 coins. However, this requires BCC so it is only optional. Next we have Entrance Exam Event where you can get 40 coins daily for 14 days if you answer the quiz correctly. So from this event, you can get as much as 560 coins. Lastly, we have the Treasure Hunt event which grants 20 coins daily for 7 days. So from this event, you can get as much as 140 coins. So all in all, excluding the BCC gift pack, the max amount of coins you can get from the events is 1,132. But to buy all items from the shop, you need 1,580 coins. Thus, it will be impossible to buy at all items from the event shop unless you purchase the BCC gift pack. So you will need to prioritize rich rewards to buy. 
The most important to purchase here would be the Event Limited Blueprint Universal Formula which gives the following stats. Also, if you opt to not do the Pet Adventure event, you'll only have 700 coins which you can use to purchase the first 4 items in the shop. Alright, so far I've gone through all the events happening in September. I hope this video was helpful in explaining how to possibly get all rewards from this month-long event. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.